Every year, in the entertainment industry, new stars emerge from obscurity to capture public attention, admiration, and fame. This phenomenon is often described as going viral. In the world of philosophical academia, similar events can sometimes take place. One such figure that emerged several years ago is Han Byung-chul, a Korean-born German philosopher. He has quickly become a rising star in the field of the philosophy, have published several books, and having his work translated into the multiple languages. Han's books are characterized by their accessibility and brevity, typically consisting of only around about 100 pages. Despite their conciseness, his book introduces several original concepts and offers insightful critique and an analysis of various contemporary phenomena. During his recent visit to Korea, Professor Han gave a speech, and during his speech and Q&A, he shared some of his takes on AI. He believes that AI is a machine that lacks insight and is incapable of predicting the future or creating new life. These are abilities that are unique to humans, he said. <clears throat> What does it mean when he said AI does not have insight? Human beings are not intellectual machines. We, unlike AI, have emotions, desire, and we love and we hope. These elements are essential to having insight. The beginning of thinking is rooted in passion something that AI is not capable of experiencing. One must hope to see the future, because AI cannot hope, it cannot see the future. AI is also cannot be emotionally touched. Professor Han mentioned AI cannot have goosebumps. You see? Goosebumps. Um, moreover, to think One must have a living body, which AI lacks at the moment. According to Professor Han, AI is simply a tool, like a hammer. But he also emphasized on the fact that AI can be incredibly dangerous too. A tool that can be used to dominate people. While humans are free as long as we can think. Can you say AI is free in this way? Mm. Can we assume that AI cannot think because AI is not free? AI also cannot solve political issues and does not possess the emotional capa capacity to do so. When asked if he is pessimistic about the future of AI, Professor Han replied that he is neither pessimistic nor optimistic. He believes that the pessimism does not require thinking, as being pessimistic means that things were eventually evidently going to end very badly. Similarly, optimism involves a belief that things will work out in the future. Everything will be okay somehow in the end, which does not also require thinking as well. AI lacks the affective analog dimensions, the capacity to be emotionally affected, which lies beyond the reach of the data and information. In other words, the fact that the mind affects the body and vice versa makes the human intelligence unique. Quote, I am a thinking of hope, a thinking that opens the future. End of quote. Thanks for watching.